Hi right guys, so welcome back to another video. So what I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna take you to the process of uh, changing my backyard net. As you can see, it's uh, it's functional, but it's just it's ugly. It's just uh, right now it's just hanged on the on the tree and it's all a mess. So let me show you how it is right now. It's just like this. Everything is is uh, up in that tree there. I got these two poles. What I'm gonna do, what I did already, I bought this uh, uh, this wood and initially what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the a golf cage and then i um ultimately i'm just gonna close it up and uh make um a, a small simulator room so this right here is two inches by two inches uh, i know that you guys might not agree and uh, maybe i should have got something thicker but uh, i am planning to make a lot of support on it so uh, i didn't want to um you know spend too much on it because this already is $15 for one. If I make it like three inches, it's like 25. So it's just the prices really um, go up really, really quickly. Okay, so I'm using this tool to push it down into the soil. I'm not gonna push it out all the way yet because I'm uh, still testing, but I'm gonna use this to just uh, push it all the way down without trying to damage it. So it should look something like this. Unfortunately, uh, I have one of those uh, missing, so I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, to put the last one in and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna connect them on the top um, and then uh, put the net in here so it's a uh, plenty of space so the ground is not perfectly level as you can see uh, what I'm making sure to do is uh, when I put this down on the ground um, I'm gonna go all the way like down here but uh, I'm using this device right here just to make sure it's level so right about there, it should be fine. I just have to make sure that it's not, uh, I don't want this to be a little higher and then lower or anything like that. Okay, so, so far this is what we have, 10 feet by 10 feet. Uh, I'm still waiting to get the last uh, piece right there so I can clamp it down. And I have all the wood already. Uh, what I gotta do is just connect them and then I have my, uh, my cage and obviously, um, my goal is to to close it out in, in the future. So I'm gonna have a little door right here where I can go in. And then um, from here, I can uh, hit balls right here. It's gonna be plenty of space because the distance from here to there is about 12, uh, 13 feet actually. Obviously I'm gonna have to rearrange this right here. And then my idea also is to make it a little bigger this way like up to here and then close it all the way out there and obviously uh, little by little then just uh, put the roof and close everything out okay so I know that some of you guys are probably gonna complain about this being two inches by two inches maybe not sturdy enough but uh, what what I plan to do right now obviously is just the golf cage but then uh, in the future what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a few more in between and then uh, put them together. So that's the plan. It's not gonna be just this hanging by itself. Initially it will be, but in the future I will plan to, to close it with other panels. So it's gonna be like distance. I would say probably like, uh, like this from here to here. And then I'm gonna um, clamp it down on the ground and then put this, uh, this panels that will show you. So the panels that I'm gonna be using later is gonna be something like this. I made this house like 10 years ago. And this is, I mean, yeah, I know it's fragile, but uh, I'm not really trying to um, put insulation or I'm not gonna sleep in there. I'm just gonna use the simulator in there. So I'm gonna make it like this, similar to this, this uh, panels right here. This is gonna be uh, the idea to close it, to close everything in. So I know that uh, I treated these panels with the treatment that I showed you before. So. And this has been here for 10 years and it's still intact. So it's dirty, but uh, it's not broken or anything. And this right here has been through wind, through everything. So my next video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all this down. And as soon as I get the last beam right there, the, uh, the piece on the bottom, I'm gonna um, uh, install everything right here and put the net and have the, the cage, the new cage, obviously. So I gotta do a little cleaning here. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video. Okay guys, so this is the first phase to my project. Um, I'm waiting for the other uh, piece to get here uh, in the next couple of days, and then I will try to uh, assemble everything together. So I will keep you updated. I will put a video uh, so you can um, keep up with the progress. 
um, hopefully um, it will turn out okay. Uh, like I say, it's my first time attempting to do a, a backyard uh, shed uh, with a simulator. So if you have any comments or any other ideas uh, that you want to share, feel free to uh, comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.